So the students were using material that myself and the other staff members had gathered. Things like plastic household items, old fabrics, yarns, tubes, paper tubes, and this became potential working material. And then students were able to just gather and take what they needed. You know, the transition from the feeling from the beginning to the end was enormous because at first it was like, oh, that's nasty. We don't want to touch this. The trash is meant to be forgotten and pushed away from us, and that quickly changed. I shared information with them about how much trash globally is being produced, and I think that that created another layer of relationship from like, this stuff is nasty, to, oh, this stuff is really sticking around, and this stuff is very problematic. To then step away from like that weighted and complicated issue and into, hey, so let's spend our time together building a relationship with this stuff. And then it became, the trash became a working material. The more colorful plastic were appealing and coveted. Things that had particular shapes became appealing. When it became possible to cut through it, it became more, you know, the, the, so these, these things went from being very unwanted to, in some ways, treasured, you know, the solution making behind it, their ability to take a material and find some way to have it fit into their vision, an ability to collaborate, to talk to somebody else and share an idea about how to make something happen. These students' methods were an inspiration for finding solution. Existing within us is this resourcefulness, that we are a highly resourceful people. It's in their bones to look around and think, how do I have a respectful relationship with something around me? And maybe the jump of our older way of seeing the world is that, coming into this new era of challenge, that the jump will be a small one because they'll know that they can take those methods and apply them to whatever future we're facing.